The fifth step in setting up sales taxes within QuickBooks requires us to set up a sales tax item and sales tax code to our particular customers. Let's come in here and open up our customer list. Let's look at Christy Abercrombie. Let's go over here to the additional info tab and you can see down here in our sales tax information box is where we set it up. First we set up the tax jurisdiction that she is in which is the tax item per QuickBooks. Next we set up the tax code. So we tell QuickBooks whether this is a taxable or non-taxable item and based on how we have our tax code set up why it's either one of those. Remember this is default information for Christie. We can change this information on any particular invoice that we're processing for her. Let's go process a couple of in invoices to demonstrate this. Let's first process an invoice to Christie Abercrombie. Here we can come down and add line items in on this invoice. You can see we added a line item for labor. Labor is non-taxable. So even though Christie is set up in the San Thomas tax code, over here this item is set to non-taxable. So QuickBooks does not calculate any tax. Let's come down and bring in another line. Doorknobs. You can see the doorknobs are taxable. So QuickBooks calculated tax of $2.33 on this line. Let's save this invoice. Now let's process an invoice to one of our resellers. Lou Plumbing. Lou Plumbing is set up as non-taxable because they're a reseller. Let's sell Lou Plumbing some doorknobs. Here you can see that they're set as reseller and we're even tracking this information. Remember when you report your sales taxes at the end of the period to your different or respective states or counties you still are required in most cases to report total sales including taxable and non-taxable sales. So we still have to track all non-taxable sales. In the next training video, we're going to show you how to report and pay these items, both the non-taxable and taxable items.